Okay, so you've just updated your Mac and you try to connect to something via SSH and you get an error. Now these are the examples of the errors you'll get. No matching key, no matching cipher and no matching Mac found. But the, the fix for them all is, is essentially the same. So you can see I've put the link to the website article on there so you can copy and paste the text out. So if you save you having typos. So we're gonna type in sudo nano and edit the slash etc slash ssh slash ssh underscore config file. Now because I've put sudo in front of there it's gonna want the root password. Now if you scroll down uh, as you can see in the text there and find the line that starts max and take the hash out from the front of it and just after the SHA-1 entry enter in a new value for hmac-SHA-2-256 and remember put a comma in between all the options so that's hmac 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 SHA-2-256 now go to the line above uh, that defines the ciphers and take the hash out of there so that those ciphers can be used. I've got all the way to the bottom because I'm particularly lazy. I'm going to copy and paste the text directly off my website, paste it in, and paste that onto the bottom of the file. It's now not so you press Control X to exit. Yes, that's the file name. That's press Y to overwrite. And you don't need to do anything or restart any services. Now when I try to connect to my firewall, you can see I am connected. If I put the correct password in, <laughs> if I put the correct password in, there we go. So that's connected and working. Now that's considered somewhat insecure because that will that will lower um, your ciphers and connection methods. Uh, uh, the preferred method is to what I'm going to do is create a file in my tilde forward slash dot ssh forward slash config directory and this will create an empty file and I am going to copy and paste in the settings for that one particular host again you can get this text off my website so only for that one host it will use all the SHA-1 algorithms or the somewhat weaker ciphers. This is considered to be the correct way to do it. However, I managed literally hundreds of routers and firewalls. So this method is a little unwieldy for me. I prefer to use the first method and, and just put up with the more insecure protocols. So just to prove it's not smoke and mirrors, you can see I can connect to my firewall once I've done that. Now <laughs> it will break every time you update if you use the method for everything so if you look on the bottom of my uh, website article you can see what I tend to do is every time I, I have fixed it uh, I take a backup by just taking a copy of the slash etc slash ssh slash ssh underscore config file and I'm copying it into exactly the same directory with the same name but I put a dot bak on the end of it. Now, the reason why I do that is, is next time that um, Apple sent me an update this tends to break straight away so rather than going in and editing the text file like we, well, like we did earlier I can just restore that back again I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So that has always taken a backup of the ssh underscore config. Now, let's say for argument's sake, I've had an Apple update and it's broken it again. I can restore those settings back. The first thing I need to do, I'm going to copy and paste these because I'm lazy. First thing I need to do is remove the live ssh config file. And then I'm going to move, which is essentially that a copy of, I'm going to take my backup 
that I created earlier, but I'm going to copy it back in as the SSH underscore config file. And the last thing I need to do is take another backup so that next time Apple send me an update and everything breaks, I can re repeat this procedure again and everything should work. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peaknetlive.com.